After the events in Gralsa, the journey across the desert turned into a nightmare. We had to be wary of every single thing we saw, no matter how small or innocuous it seemed. Our enemies could be anywhere, everywhere. We were walking into a trap by our own choice. No, it was my choice. Even without taking our enemies into account, reversing the vast dry plains was a highly dangerous thing to do. While it wasn't possible for us to lose track of our destination for long, with our maps and Valen's indications, the stifling heat during the day, frequent sandstorms and lack of water sources could have resulted in catastrophic losses. Eventually, it became evident that our enemies didn't want to take risks in the hostile sands either. Aside from a few armed encounters with the natives, we found very little opposition on our way. At the end, we reached a small oasis near some ruins. We had reached the northern defence line of the valley Telhior, named after me. Episode 2, Scenario 7, Proximus. Welcome back. You're watching me, Cyber Nero Druid, playing After the Storm, Episode 2, Scenario 7. We'll jump straight in. Ooh, we got fog. According to the map Unarie gave us, the valley entrance is just ahead. Good. Don't you think it's unsafe to be here all alone, though? There's nothing suspicious around here, so... No, I don't think so. We are both capable of defending ourselves against desert animals. Ooh, Zanara. I see. Well, let's see how you fare on your own against me. Oh. Who are you in truth? Answer! It saddens me to admit that my master was a very misguided person. His destruction was only a matter of time. Uriah's power is the greatest force that's ever graced us. We could avoid wasting so many lives all over the continent if everyone accepted her offer and joined her cause. So you were in the country looking for the Triad all this time? You betrayed us! I am not the only one. Even those pitiful northerners have grown weary of this pointless war and seek easier alternatives. Now, give me that star. And don't forget, you are not in possession of godlike powers anymore. I can and will kill you if you don't concede. They are also willing to help. Yeah! Anya! Durfin! How did you know? I... My lady, we'd never leave you alone in the darkness. After all, it is our element. There's a lot of movement in the hills to the south, my lady. The northern defense line is preparing for battle, and so should we. Are those drones gonna go away? No. <laughs> okay, Alinea must destroy Malzanavu by herself. Alright, no messing around. Alinea, Anya, and Durvin have to survive. Malzanavu can only be attacked with Alinea. Interestingly, I wonder what happens with Undead now. Um, probably. Oh, I can still recruit them, but I can't recruit ghosts. Can I recall my previous ghosts? Yes. Okay. If I'd known that was going to happen, I would have recruited a few more ghosts. That's a bit of a bummer to only have one spectre and one shadow. And one normal ghost. But, uh, we'll do what we can. Okay, what does this map look like, then? Ruined houses over here. And down here, there's a couple of bases. So many, there's so many recruitment places here. Weird. It looks like over here, there's not going to be anything. So we'll want to get some bats. I'll do that from the other fortress. For now, I need something that can take on drones. 
I only have 26 turns for this. It's not. Uh, I can't exactly rush it. I can recruit Vampire Bat. So, what time is it? It's the Long Dark First Watch. Alright, no sprites then. Um, this is what. See, this is where I would normally recruit ghosts. <laughs> um, some skeletons. Because they won't get poisoned. I didn't come so far from the former home. Sorry. I didn't come from so far to the former home of my people to be defeated by a traitor and coward. El my lady? I have done this before, thanks to Argan and Malin. Although I am not as good at them with spirits, unfortunately. Your staff? The ruby's glowing! Alinea can no longer recruit ghosts. However, she still has access to ghost line lead that's left in her recall list, and she's now able to recruit vampire bats. Alright, good. That's something at least. Okay, what smells are now we're gonna have? Probably undead. <laughs> Seems like the uh, most reasonable choice. Uh, in which case, I want some foot pads and thugs. Get some nice impact damage in. I've got a ton of gold. I'm not intending to leave anything much to chance here. Um, now, could I push down and? capture this base before the undead reach it? I don't think that's likely to happen. Oh, we've got some drone holes over there. A little village down there. I can't see any magic items. No footpad. Uh, maybe that's enough spam? Maybe not, we'll see. So the drone's plan is apparently just to uh, beat the shit out of poor old Durvan. Durvan can slow one of them. So I guess I should kill one of them and slow the other. you're a teleporter. You've got the teleport ability. You can teleport between any two. This is the ability that silver mages have in uh, more standard campaigns. So pretty handy to have. Also you've got the attack called Noctum. Never really sure what that actually means but uh, in Lesnar terms what it means is a powerful arcane attack usually with a lot of strikes. But that's not your highest level. 73 experience, you can level up again to level 4. What a legend. And you're slowed. So what you'll probably do is try and uh, impact ranged attack one of these skeletons next turn. I can deal with that. Alright, so let's get the bats out and doing something useful. Can I get this village with anyone other than bats? No. Would be useful to do some southern scouting. You can loop back round. 
All right, so there's a an invader there. Oh wow, there's an enemy leader there. Okay, well, I'm gonna have, we're gonna have chaos troops as well. All right, good thing I did some scouting. So don't want to go that way. Gonna retreat. Go the other way. Or maybe just go over here so I can see. We've got okay, so we've got evil elves. We've got uh, evil elves who are recruiting hunters. That's annoying. Um, we've got. Hound of Chaos, we've got a Soul Hunter. There's quite a lot of nasty units down here. Okay, so there's not very many. They don't have much space to recruit. Let's see how much gold they've got. That's not how you do that. Um, status table. We can't see how much gold they've got. Okay, that's fine. Northern defense line. We can see Geraman and, and Sithraldin. And there's two more enemy, enemy units. Okay, let's get some skeletons out. This is not a scenario to uh, hold back on, I think. I should just try and push and uh, get the win as soon as I can, I think. One more vampire bat, maybe, because just if I'm going to do that, I also need to keep my income high. No, that seems like a waste. Um, Sprites are not going to be good on the open plains. Um, where do you pop up from? Oh yeah, I, I did recruit you last turn. Just didn't use you for anything. Okay, so there we've got the skeletons. Go here and recruit quite a lot of stuff. Footpads. This quick outlaw. And finally, this ghost. No, I gotta make sure my ghost line, ghost line units survive. Easier said than done, but I should hopefully have enough fodder that they don't get attacked too quickly. Alright, so the blue player is undead. We've got ghosts. There's probably a death knight or something down there as well. Or it's just, there's two bases. Okay, suicide and onion. I can see her friends there. He, he. Ignore them. Strike down the fairy first. Okay, there goes the sandstorm. So now we've got uh, a wounded Malzanabu who will be on full health by the time he gets to anything about it. But <laughs> General Laurelath is a chocobone general. Uh, that's pretty hilarious. Um, Level 3, but with rubbish attack. Because I have a charging attack, which means that I've got to make sure that uh, when units who are weak in, uh, in melee need to steer clear of him. over here. In the north the situation has been resolved, so you can go onto a castle. 
heal. You can come down here. And I guess, Durvin, you'd better start making your way south too. Although, actually, I'm going to let you sit for one more turn and get health. Anya, though, you can come. Oh, you can teleport. If if he moves, you can teleport to anywhere on the map. Still, um, don't need you to be anywhere in particular right now. So I'll just move you. All right, where should I defend? To build a defensive line. I don't mind the dog attacking me next turn. I might, it might be that the best place to defend is right here, in fact. Yep, I think it probably is. I can make a nice line. Ooh, okay. Mm, you step back for now. Next turn, when the dog has taken itself out on this thug, we can revisit the situation. Dryad and my Spectre. Um, I'll have my two Fire Fairies. Oh, and now I'm running out of money. So I can have one more recall. I think the Dryad will be that. Come down here and do it. Should have done that before. Didn't realise how quickly I was going to run out of money there. Okay, I'll have a Dryad. Do I need any of the rest of this craft? No, that's just level 1 units. Um, the Food Fugitive might be nice, but probably not fantastically useful against this type of enemy. I'll have another Skeleton, then I'll be out of gold. Or maybe a Poacher. Poachers aren't very good. They're just too weak. But I don't have much with ranged attacks, so I'll go for a Skeleton Archer instead. Alright. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Okay, in you go. That was easy enough. And now there are no, there's only that one dog left. And now because it's actually... Because some of these units will get an advantage... Ah, this is a tricky one. Do I send someone out to kill that dog? I think I will, I'll, but I'll send someone expendable. Maybe now that you've got some experience, I'll try and keep you alive. Though you are strong and quick, so it's not going to be easy. Quick units, unfortunately, suffer in terms of their hit points. And I'd like to keep at least some of these guys alive until... Okay, you. Good job. I 
Everyone else come and form a line over here. Skeleton archers to the floor, I think. I mean, I could try to kill you. Might be able to even pull back in time. No, no. That's... Well, it's just a pointless waste of life, I think. I'll put a skeleton archer there. Put a footpad there. Not to get everyone off the front line who isn't a skeleton archer. Just stand just behind the front line. And I think I can trust that bat to get the remaining villagers. So Alinea can come and join in the Barney. As can you. You want to go this way, right? I'm out of gold, and I will stay that way. Elinia, rather than going and healing people on the front line, you should get yourself some health this turn, so... You go there. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, you've got a long reach. And I won't help you if you decide to do things like that. That's a nice waste of 20 gold for the enemy player. And the enemy is going to continue to trickle its units up towards me. Including zombies. Yeah, you don't seem to be running out of gold yet, do you? What? You're attacking me in melee? Are you insane? Okay, well that guy did alright. Okay, not exactly my favourite time of day. Can you reach this other house next turn? Oh, not quite. Can you reach this? Okay, you do that. And you can come back for this one. Job done. I'm going to hold this line. Oh, the dog can reach Tara. That's not great. I put someone who is great, like this thug. Okay, so now, if the dog wants to fight anyone, it can fight. Because it could fight this footpad, this intelligent quick footpad. <laughs> Bit of a spam waste of space footpad, really. No one can get around this flank. I'm gonna put a linear here. I'll move you to. Ah, uh, no, I do want a skeleton archer there. I don't have enough skeleton archers, that's my problem. You can go there. 
he can go there, and then everyone who needs healing has got it. Other than Der, then he can go in this village. Alright, that's a pretty meaty looking line. Let's just hope it can take what the enemy has to throw at us. Was that a zombie bat? Yeah. You got some nerve sending those out for me. Purple are not that strong. Uh, it's now full on daytime. Can't quite reach over there. But since none of these folks can reach me either, it's tempting to put a fire fairy over there. So that this bat is then trapped between a rock and a hard place. This bat should stay where it is. And then this ghost can come out to deal with the situation as well. Alright, so um, I'm going to get this set up so that I don't lose anyone on the front line who doesn't want to be lost. Oh, you don't take actually. You don't take much damage. Um, oh, you've got after maximum level advancements too. Oh, that's cool. You can get extra noctum damage, extra chill damage, fire resistance, fire and cold resistance, melee damage. Um, yeah. I love that it says the maximum number of times you can get the vitality upgrade is 100. Like, are there people who get that upgrade 100 times? Um, but are you? You're actually quite... Oh no, you're quite strong. You're quite good at defending against Arcane as well. Surprisingly. It says you're weak, but I guess it's just because these guys are fighting during the day. And it's not their favoured time. This is the kind of time where it's, uh, it's tempting to have... to stick good old uh, Illinia on the front lines. You, you can always do this, you can always stick some, uh, if you have a formation like this, stick some hench units on the front lines. Oof. Yeah, my skeletons are rubbish during the day as well. The elves are the units that are the most threatening in terms of, you know, who's on the front lines, who's good during the day. Can you kill this shaman? If you're really, really lucky, you can. You, you, I'd have to get the, the, the maximum lucky outcome, but... Uh, Almost. Now it's just a shame that whoever goes there is going to get wasted because uh, and I don't want to put anyone there and I don't want to waste Durvan's attacks killing this one shaman. But it's fine. 
No more dogs. I'm going to double check that because uh, I don't want to get attacked by dogs. Uh, I'm going to put a linear on this piece of rubble. Move you back, move you back around. If you sit here, um, who will be able to reach you? Should be able to have it such that... Well, trouble is, if you kill all of the uh, invokers that come against you... But there's only two, so I think I can make it. Alright, good work from you. You come over here, you go onto there. Um, what we can do here. Stick Anya here so that this one invoker can go for her if, she, if it wants. And then come forward with a linear. And with a. Oh, a linear, you should have been doing more crunches. You go over here in case this bat proves to be more of a threat than we think. And fairly quickly dispose of it, I think, but we shall see. Well, this bat is doing its job, this bat is sitting on the village. Blue's troops are not very close. Green can't do a whole lot either. Also recruiting quite a lot of zombie bats. Okay. It's broad daylight now. Next step, that house. And with that, I think I've done most of what I can do. This is a spot where it would be good to push forward one more step. think. So if I want to do that, I ought to start cleaning up this formation from this end. Not during the day. You though, maybe. Now, I don't want you to be attacked too much. Currently, it's only this purple archer who can attack you at all. And I think I can take that risk. Over here, I want to be able to deal with this guy. I 
just going to stick you there. Come in with the spectre. Okay, Spectre did the Spectre's job. Um, Durvin did Durvin's job. Let's see if Alinea can do Alinea's job. Okay, all that deadlifting is starting to pay off after all. Let's get Skeleton Archers in there. Folks mostly can't reach this. Attack of the clowns over here. And I think the only person who ought to be able to. Oh, okay. There is a, a, a zombie bat. You can reach my shadow if I use the shadow for this. That's okay. One zombie and one zombie bat should be fine. Hopefully, it will be fine. You got sixty percent defense there, so that's good. Don't need to defend this flank anymore, so you can start to come into the main formation. You come around here. Um, these are pretty much all melee units, apart from a few elves. So I don't feel any qualms about putting this guy on the front lines now. And Alinea, you stay where you are, you stay where you are. You maybe come this way a little bit. And you come back down here. This I think of as the kind of classic Wesnoth experience. Line up and kill. Alright, well that skeleton gave an okay account of himself against two other skeletons, especially after being slowed. And it helps my income situation whenever this happens. Okay, you put zombies on the front line? Well, okay. I guess the blue and the green player goes first, so it's just the obvious choice. Purple doesn't have so much Spielraum. These are still reasonable trades, especially with Alinea there to do some healing. Okay, uh, maybe hold where I am here. Bah. Do I dare put you on the front line? Kind of put a linear on the front line. I think a linear is better suited to it. Not great against these guys. Neither is Anya. A linear is the only person who looks to be reasonably able to two shot these folks. Alright, that's good. 
I can live with that. Oh, you could go back, you come here. How far can you folks over here reach? Not very far, actually. Which again suggests it might not be too bad an idea to start expanding around. It's a shame these guys do so damn much damage. Okay, well you go there. And then you two... Pretty weak. Oh, you're kidding me. Two fire fairies during the day, unable to take out one itty bitty little elven archer. Well, that's just brilliant. 30% there. You'd be on 40% there. Put someone weaker there. Good stuff. Okay, shoot the Elvish Fighter or shoot the very, very weak and Chaos Invader. You, since if you sitting there, because you're at the pretty much the end of the turns, you'll block anyone else from coming. So I'm going to actually leave you there because that's quite funny. And then going to attack with you. Okay, good stuff. Get my shadow a bit out of reach. Shadow is probably going to be most useful on this far flank, actually. So I'll move you down there. Shuffle everyone around a bit, and then we're ready to face another onslaught. some healing soon. Elenia is doing well here, but not too well, which is crucial. <laughs> Zombie bat comes in for an attack so that it can hopefully get killed by Anya next turn. Good trade. Okay, Durvin did manage to. It's a real shame that bow of Chris Vellan doesn't work on the rebound. The flow of units is starting to peter out somewhat. There's a last gasp, mostly of uh, undead, including some annoying ghouls. So... Yep, 
you get the kill. While it's still daytime. Oh, okay, there is an archer here. Be careful of that. Whoa! Perfect strikes there from my fire fairy. Need to kill you. And my spectre is his usual impressive self. No point you getting killed. Is Alinea going to go back to base and heal? I think the answer is yes. Good. You attack this guy. And miss with all your attacks. Fantastic. Um, you should probably go somewhere where you're a little bit safer. Um, you should just go back. Oh! You can't quite reach Alinea's radius of healing, which is annoying. Nevertheless. Ah. Yeah, there we go. Line's looking a little bit flimsy now. Ah, oh, can't decide what to do. Um, like I said, you'll be better off over here. No one can reach the fire fairy, other than this bat, who might try it on, I guess. Okay, try that. Green is the powerhouse at the moment. Black's got two dudes left, both regular foot soldiers. And purple hasn't got anyone. And blue has got slow people. Let's be up for the night time. No kill. The 
send you around the back side and have you attack this guy. Not super impressive. But enough to set up the kill for you, and hopefully you will be a forest spirit very soon. Now, in order to make that happen, I need to play my cards right with the rest of you losers. Are you ready? Put you there and have the undead hopefully kill themselves on you. You're good against these guys. Punch your skeleton friends to death. Excellent. Could be could afford to be a bit more aggressive here, so bit silly because you've got decent amount of experience and you're strong and resilient but uh, uh, still doesn't mean I don't still doesn't mean I'm too worried about losing you next turn okay these folks are all too slow to go over to that side of the battlefield you down on this hill. Zombies. That was pretty jammy. This this all means my gold income will be better. Okay, and with the dawning of today, I think it's time to just wipe out the remainder of these units 
and get going. Good. Oh, I can't get anyone into this gap. This bat can do it. Just sneak through this little cubby hole here. Kill this thing. Or fail. You come around here and kill this guy. Or fail. Toasted ghoul. Okay, it was, well, okay, so Alinea now has the fairy fire attack, despite the fact that I never gave her the upgrade. So, what? She's just got Fairy Fire 3 randomly? I guess it must be required for, this, for the animation at the start of this scenario or something? I've got Fairy Fire 1, I just don't have Fairy Fire 2. Why would I get Fairy Fire 1 though? Oh no, I can't get Fairy Fire 3, but I do have Fairy Fire 1. Okay, it's just given me that for free. Fine, I can live with that. What I cannot live with is my units failing to kill zombies. So, maybe someone... You're the only person who's up to the job. You go in here. Chop that guy down to size. I need to do six damage here. You could do it. And you do. Very nice. Right, now you. Good job. You, you guys are all very slow and on the wrong side of the map. You're almost dead. You will be dead soon. You guys can head down the road. If um, if the elvish leader wants to come out, I'm not going to say no to that. And you're trapped. So you can go behind Delinea and get some healing. 
And this is certainly a force I feel confident pushing in with. And there's enough spam left that uh, I can take some damage. Poor old purple. Futile. That was pretty futile too, but the green one will take care of him. Yeah. Rip. Nope, purple leader's not going to come out. Oh! It... Well, that makes life harder. Black leader hires a dog. Dogs are quite fast. You failed to get the kill last time round, so let's see if you can get one this time round. Now we've got a forest spirit who is resilient. I love these units. Down you go. Can I lure the dog out? I deal with someone who does melee damage who isn't supremely weakened already. Can I have you skeletons head over here? Oh, so they stay... Oh. Stay out of range of the dog. Durvin can come forward here as well. Put you there. Why not? I guess counterintuitively, for some of you units, it does make sense for you to head down the road. You could do that. That's just as quick if you're going like here. And you sit in the middle. Nothing will lure the dog out, that's annoying. Ah! Get that village. Okay, so the dog's gonna come out and, um, it's gonna be an idiot, so that's fine. And, yes, the purple leader is out of his, uh, out of his little hidey hole. So we can try and level up this other fire fairy.
second resilient and quick forest spirit. That is good news. Okay. Well, the ones up here. Thought you were going to fail there. Whew. Okay, we do have one Elvish Hunter here. Not too scared. Totals this dog here. Anya, come around here. What will happen if you attack this guy? This guy's not too good during the day. You would be fine against him, so I can put you out front. In fact, just generally, everyone move. Gonna make a very like aggressive dick move here with a linear and see what happens. Could even attack this guy with the spectre. Yeah, I don't see really any disadvantage in doing that, other than uh you can just about reach. And I'm gonna have an opportunity to level this guy. You around to get villagers next turn. All right. So, which of my juicy units are you going to be tempted to come out and kill, Mr. Soul Hunter? Because you're not going to achieve anything else this campaign. Ooh, interesting. Green General Watts' face is also going to come out. All right, that, yeah, okay, you've got yourself well and truly surrounded, Mr. Garamanen. Uh, I do have to make sure I have some units left to kill this guy. And actually, Forest Spirits are perfect for that. So I'll use my, try and use my units at the back here to take out all my, my um, weaker undead units. Oh, I see why he came out. When I killed the purple leader, there was no one guarding this resource anymore. Hmm. Okay, no more General Green, no more green units at all, in fact. Oh, oh no, wait, there are two zombies, two green zombies. This is pretty pitiful, what's left? Blue's got the leader, green's got two zombies, purple's got one hunter, black's got its leader, and uh, most of those units are going to be dead by the end of this turn as well. At least if I have anything to say about it, they are. I appreciate him missing so much, that's good. Can you come in and get the experience? Oh, it's a bit much for you right now. It's, who can deal a really tiny amount of damage? You probably can. Maybe you can, maybe you can get the kill. I don't really want another outlaw.
and you could get the kill too. What I want is someone who definitely can't like you. Perfect. And I've got my second wraith. Okay, um, I won't have a full squad of six wraiths and spectres, six spectres and nightgorns, but uh, what I've got is not too bad. These guys are all pretty hopeless. Did I really move you there this turn? Huh? I guess a lot of water under the bridge. You need healing, but I don't want to move you there because the Lich can just about reach you. Okay. Now that the uh, cat is out of the bag, the lich is out of the forest, can I get the kill in a single turn? Let's start with you, or maybe someone else, maybe you, no you can't reach, you can't reach, yeah why not you? Perfect. Are you? Okay, and now we can, I think, get a full surround on Mr. Litchie. What I can't quite do is slow him. It's dusk, so it's not the worst time of day for me. I could try and slow with Alinea, and then kill with the others. Oh, only Alinea can damage her. That's the, the deal, isn't it? Yeah, you may attack Malzanavu only with Alinea. Alright, so, I'm going to have to be careful with the rest of my units here. In that case, I might as well bring Alinea down. Bring Alinea. I've now called Anya Tara, Tanya, Anya, and Alinea. Okay, good kill. You go and grab another village. I'll we'll, we'll use someone tanky to do the zone of controlling. I did over recruit a bit for this scenario, but um, it's quite hard to avoid having any spare surviving fodder units at the end of the scenario. And it does look like I'm not going to end up too badly out of my depth. Financially speaking. Should I just go straight for damage or should I go for the slow? I feel like slow is more sensible. And those attacks all hit, which is handy. I wonder if there's some sort of macro in place. I know that uh, that does get used sometimes in this campaign. It's a bit normally a no-no for Wesnoth -no campaign design. But when you have special scenarios that require things like this, where you have to finish the campaign, you have to finish the fight with a single unit, you know. OK. 
Okay. We're still on negative income. We've got 10 turns left to go. And Alinea can just hopefully zap with the fairy fire. Who is your leader? Who is awaiting us in the valley? And who is my impersonator? I work for the Iron Council. I have no idea who... You are lying! How... How could you? It's over and all. My lady... Just Elinia will do, friends. And we get the sad defeat music, even though we just won the scenario. What should we do now? There is no turning back, and the imposter must be preparing to confront us or flee from the valley. Whichever is the case, I am going to find her and burn her to ashes. You must contact Eloran immediately to notify him of Zanara's betrayal. It's very probable that he is in danger. Very well. Everyone else, prepare for what I hope would be our last battle. Yes, my lady. I don't think it will be our last battle. Ooh, this is only scenario, what, seven? Ooh, well, Elinia hasn't lost her optimism. That's good. Okay, 103 bonus gold. If you look at the statistics, we had quite a few losses, but all of them were level 1 or 0 undead, so that's fine. Um, and we got uh, Anya to level up, we got a Wraith, we got two Forest Spirits, so I'm very happy with my uh, with my advancements there. And 100 bonus gold should be enough to deal with whatever is lurking in front of us in the next scenario. Would I do anything differently? Maybe hire a few fewer skeletons? since I've got essentially five spam skeletons left over. But then again, you know, they weren't just useful for fighting, they were also useful for zone of control. So we do what we can. And this guy, who's quick and intelligent, managed to even level up. I guess that's the advantage of intelligence. Even when the person controlling you is doing their best to get you killed, you still manage it. All right, that's it for this video. So I've been your signing off. Please join us next time for the next scenario.